Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glisten Ralph here. I have some absolutely fantastic news. You will never guess who is sponsoring today's video. That's right, the one, the only, the epic Raid Shadow Legends. It's a free-to-play mobile game, and it's been downloaded by over 7 billion people just here in the United States. There are over 420 champions and 69 different ways to play. <laughs> As we all know, the folks over at Raid Shadow Legends are extremely selective in who they have sponsored their game, which is why I'm one of the first people to be sponsored by them. So, with that being said, let's move on to our deck tech, conveniently titled Raid Shadow Legends. As you can imagine, it uses the raid mechanic, shadow, and legends, all of them together. Let's start off with Raid. Now, Raid is a mechanic whereby if a creature attacked earlier that turn, X, where X can be whatever. We have a few cards that care about Raid in the deck, that care about other creatures attacking, and we have a few cards that will enable this pretty readily. So, to start off, we have Blood Soaked Champion. This is a 2-1 for 1 mana. It can't block, but Raid, 2 mana, you get to put this straight from the graveyard onto the battlefield. So it's a recursive creature. It allows you to keep attacking over and over again. We also have Cabal Therapist. This is the Modern Horizons version of Cabal Therapy. It's a 1-mana one 1-1 one, one with Menace, so it's probably going to be able to swing through. You'll probably be able to keep it. And if you sacrifice a creature, then you get the wonderful little benefit of Cabal Therapy. You get to name a non-land card, take a look at their hand. If they have any copies of it, those get discarded. Well and good, right? These two creatures are the one drops that will enable Mardu's Skull Hunter. It's another 2 1 that comes into play tapped, but with raid, an opponent has to discard a card. So this will help not only fill our board, we'll get another creature, but we'll be making our opponent discard a card early in the game, hopefully, as soon as turn two, ideally. The next part of the deck is Shadow. Now, you may be thinking that the Shadow mechanic is what I'm talking about. And we could go that way, but instead, we can just simply use Death Shadow. It's a one mana instant win button a lot of the time. This isn't a deck that's built around Death Shadow, but the card is so good that why not run it? It's also sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, so we have to have Shadow in here somewhere, so this is what we're going with, folks. Come on. This is probably going to end up being something like a 10-10 in a deck like this. After all, plenty of your creatures actually can't block, so your opponent will get to keep swinging through. You also have ways to deal your self-damage in the deck. You can take a lightning bolt, point it at your face, Kolagon's command, we'll get to those in a bit, and it can keep coming back thanks to a few other cards in the deck. Now the next is Legends. The deck has eight absolute legends. Shouts to Carl Jobst. These are three copies of Croxa, Titan of I Forgot, <laughs> Titan of Death's Hunger. This is cheap interaction. It'll be a two mana. They'll get to discard a card. That's pretty nice. And then it'll get to come back as a 6-6 six, six for effectively four mana. Now it is easier to take out than say Uro for instance. It does die to Fatal Push, but you can just get it right back if that happens to be the case. Fill your yard pretty quickly. After all, you have a lot of ways to do that. And then you get it right back again. And each time it enters or attacks, they discard a card. Maybe you'll even get some damage out of it. That's pretty sweet. Then we have three copies of Liliana the Last Hope. She'll fill your yard, she'll make your opponent's creatures weaker, possibly even pick them off, and the ult is an actual win condition. Then we have two others. We have Judith. She just makes your creatures stronger. Maybe pings. That seems pretty good. And then we have Kalitas, Traders of Get. Now this is the most expensive creature in our deck by mana cost. Not that it matters if it's expensive another way because I have enough sponsorship money from <laughs> Raid Shadow Legends that I got this Gucci jacket and I bought up all the remaining Mishra's workshops. All eight of them, so you're welcome. Kalitas is a 3-4 with lifelink to help keep us in the game and it helps to remove the opponent's shenanigans from the graveyard. If a creature would go there, it gets exiled instead, and you get a zombie token. It's basically a jack of all trades, master of all as well. It's a pretty good card. Then we have our next legend. Now, it's not technically a legend, 
It is Dark Confidant. It is Bob Marr, a legendary player of the game, and therefore probably counts. Let's go with that, right? Right? You sure? Are we sure? Is that okay? I'm going to say that that's okay. I hope that Raid Shadow Legends agrees with me. Aside from that, we have interaction. We have four Lightning Bolts, four Fatal Push, two Colgon's Command, and two Terminate. Just a nice little removal suite. It's about a fifth of the deck. That's about what you expect in modern nowadays. Colgon's Command will get creatures back, destroy artifacts if need be, which is important when Urza is a deck, and Shock occasionally kills stuff. So that's always pretty nice. Also, the Shock can target a creature or a player or whatever you feel like because Colagon's Command is awesome like that. If you want to actually be a little bit more degenerate, you can put Fulminator Mage in the deck so that you can use Fulminator Mage, sack Colagon's Command, and then get Fulminator Mage back so you can do it again. This also can be done with Liliana using the middle ability if you just really dislike having friends. For the sideboard, we have four Damping Sphere for Tron and Storm. We have four Yixla Jailer, which is our answer to Dredge. You can use Leyland of the Void instead. We have four Thought Seas for combo decks in general. And we have three Gifted Aetherborn to give us some more life and keep us in the game against aggro decks. And there you have it. Raid Shadow Legends. I hope you've enjoyed this epic, epic video. Now, if you'd like to find me on Raid Shadow Legends, my username is, of course, T1 Glistener Elf, and my clan is called Atraxus Fanboys. That's fan with a PH and boys with an IZ. It's all one word. I know that's for a joke, but now I actually want to do that. But in all seriousness, there are going to be more deck techs coming up for the channel because, turns out, we're in the middle of a pandemic, so you actually will be seeing more serious ones like this <laughs> coming from me in the future. So I guess you can stay tuned for that. Take care, Magic Community, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye! <laughs> I can't even get started. I'm going to be so annoyed editing this later. <laughs> <laughs>